All right, thought we'd do a little, just a quick video in regards to mainly the Raptor Tactical 2.0. Um, last night we went out and we shot um, standard GI, um, uh, Team Windy Bump Helmet. Um, and then we also had in our um, a request to bring out <clears throat> for one of the nights a Raptor Tactical 2.0 um, system. Um, so kind of talk a little bit about this one. I'm not going to go long on this one. You can always call the shop. We'll kind of give you some feedback. Um, this one right here, the cry precision cap. Um, I'll talk a little bit about this one as well. I typically run PVS 14 with floors or um, I rays um, both left and right. And then we've got the L3, which is uh, the fusion technology, which is um, a little pricey for the um, average consumer. So um, mainly just talking about this one. Uh, if you have a bump helmet, and we all know about getting in and out of vehicles, or if you're out hunting side by side, you hit your, you know, you hit your helmet, um, your gear on your helmet, um, start to, you know, add the girth around your head. So the nightcaps um, are great because it's it's a solution to be able to run your um, accessories, your night vision, pretty much anything else you want to run, um, whether you're hog hunting or just running surveillance. Um, and talk, this is pretty popular for some of the guys that are running surveillance just because you can wear, you know, a, um, a pullover with it. it doesn't get in the way and obstructed for, um, the bump helmets. But this one we were, we we're going to be super excited about, but, um, unfortunately we have nothing good to say about this one. The ratchet systems are great. Um, obviously it's a, um, a build off of that of Team Wendy. Um, the back for the ergonomic support you would think would also um, be advantageous, but this actually created a lot of wear on some of the guys' back of their neck. Um, used it for five nights um, consistently for a little over six hours. Um, the concept's great, but I think they got a lot of work to do on this one, um, and especially for the price. So a bump helmet, you know, 300 bucks. Um, you know what you're going to get. Um, Team Wendy does an outstanding job for the comfort, um, the ratchet system. Um, but if you're looking for something lightweight, being able to put in your backpack, this is definitely not the one to go with. Um, I would highly recommend not going with this. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to come by. Um, if you're law enforcement, you can actually try this on. Um, if you're, you know, with the agency also as well, we can set up a demo for you. But hands down, just this one, the cry, it's so small, so compact. Um, whenever you take your mount off your, your shroud, if I can get it off there, it's just, you can fold it up and pretty much goes anywhere you want. Um, as, as well as, you know, like I said, if you run dual nods um, um, or a single, just a PVS-14. But like I said, you know, um, we were super excited about this. We hadn't seen a lot of reviews or commentaries on this one. And again, it looks just like it's, you know, durable. Um, it would last. And it, it, it is rigid, but again... Temple headaches, um, uh, fatigue, um, and then just the adjustment. Um, it just wasn't there as what we anticipated. But anyways, um, that's our feedback. Other people may have difference, but the Raptor Tactical 2.0 for us is definitely um, uh, is a no-go for us. But anyways, if you've got any questions, give us a call at the shop.